<laughs> Come on, camera. Fucking work. Properties. There. <laughs> Alright. I'm back, guys. So, we have figured it out. So, I am going to set up a new thing here. It'll take me just a couple of minutes. There's that. We're going to change the audio. We're going to take that stupid thing off there. Alright, so... Alright, there's going to be some black around the screen. That's fine. I can't get it perfect. But we're freaking watching it now. And this is on the capture device through OBS. Not through that stupid program that was on here. So, let's get into it. As long as I put another video capture on here. now back for YouTube I've got to do some editing wasn't planning on it but I have to that's the way that things are gonna set up for this so and I wonder because I've got to be able to see this screen while also playing so give me just a moment I kind of want to fill in that black portion right there Maybe if we throw a backdrop. Maybe if we throw our regular backdrop here. Let's see. Add uh, image. Let's do image one. Okay. Haha. -ha, there. So we'll do this. And we're going to drop this all the way to the back. Move to the bottom. There we go. I can work with this. Alright, so, without further ado, let me show you about all of this now. This is going to be kind of weird for me. Oh, let me see if I can make this full screen. Enable preview. No, I need to see it. Except I want to see a full screen projector preview. Sweet. Okay. So I am seeing exactly what you guys are seeing if you put it on full screen, all right? So, the way this is set up, this is all our Nintendo Wii games. This is our Nintendo GameCube games, the Atari 7800, the Atari 2600, ColecoVision, Nintendo, Super Nintendo. We'll go into this. This is all your Sega Genesis stuff, or Sega stuff. This is Wii Menafin, and it's basically your GameCube, or excuse me, your Game Boy Color and your Game Boy Regular games. There's your Game Boy Advance, Nintendo 64, uh, Lynx, MAME games, and the MMX, or MSX. MAME is going to be your, uh, basically your coin op games. All right, so I wish I could show this. The way that this works out is I have this plugged into a certain spot. If I want to play Wii, only the hard drive can be plugged in. If I want to play the GameCube games, 
only the GameCube part can be plugged in. So, we're going to start with the game, or the Wii, just to show you all of this. Alright, so it's going to take it a second to load. I guess I could sit. I don't have to stand for this. Okay. Uh. <laughs> it's been a minute since I've had this thing turned on, so it might take it a second. Make sure we got it. Okay. Let's go back to the very beginning. I ain't even going to start with Call of Duty. So. Oh, I already passed it. So what you're looking at right here is every single Wii game I have on this. So Boy in His Blob, Aladdin, Alien Syndrome, Alvin the Chipmunks, uh, American Menza Academy. When you click Bowling, Angry Birds, um, let's find a good game to click into, Arthur Esther Boy. We'll look at every single one of these, and we'll look at every single one of the games tonight. This is a long string, this is a long unveil of everything here. Um, so let's go into, and all of these are full games. These are no demo games or anything like that. So let's take Bully for example. Ugh, let me do something with OBS real quick because I know that's freaking louder than ever and I can't even hear myself think. Alright, so when you're in the game here, you have the option to see the back of this uh, screen. You have the option to go ahead and go and play the game. This is not one that we're going to start off with um, because I don't want to do the controller or the uh, nunchuck yet. So, but I just want you guys to see what it looks like. So you get the front of the screen, the back of the screen, and then you can also tag this to be one of your favorites. All right. You could also delete it if you wanted. All right. Oh, that was loud. Burger Boy, best move. Let's see, Call of Duties, and I have Modern Warfare, Black Ops, Blood World at War II, um, Calling, Captain America, Carnival, Mini Golf, uh, some anime game, Castlevania, uh, Vanishing Files. Let's see, who just joined? Uh, it's not going to behave right now. Uh, Centipede, there's another Call of Duty, it's out of order, Cooking Mama, Cook Wars, Counter Force, Cradle Rome, Crash, a bunch of Crash ones, uh, Crosswords, Cruising, now my family, we play a lot of the word games and board games and stuff on here, so, Dead Rising, uh, Dead Space, Deal or No Deal, Death, is Death? A lot of these games also I have not played yet, so I'm learning. Uh, still playing some of these games as well. Destroy All Humans. Epic Mickey, Think Fast, which is a trivia game. The universe. Come on. Donkey Kong uh, Country Returns and Donkey Kong Barrel Blast. Dude's bid adventure. I am thirsty. Give me a second. All that work, man, just to bring this up. I don't know what I did. I, I don't know. I turned off the Wii. Ah. All right. Dragon Lair. Dream Pinball. Driver. Trivia Pursuit. Elder Saga. Emergency Heroes, Emergency Mayhem, Enclave, Endless Ocean, Endless Escape the Museum, Excite, Excite Bots, Face, Family Feud. Alright, so, let me show you basically how this works. 
we're gonna go into a game. Family Feud. So once you press play, it loads just like the regular game would if you were playing it, if you put the disc in back in the day. go in and play your game. So. It's time for Family Feud. All right, it's the first round. Let's kick things off with the first question. Send me two players. The top six answers are Okay, so from there, let's say you want to end the game, you have to go back to the Wii menu to go back to the actual Wii, the Wii game menu. So we're hopping back over, we'll go back into the Wii again. And it should leave off where the last game we played at. Okay, so Family Game Night 3, Family Game Night 4, Family Game Show. So Fantastic Four, Far Cry, Final Fantasies, Fire Emblem, Fit and Six. If you have the Wii board, I don't, so. Fragile Dreams, Frankenstein, Game Party, Game Party 3. Ghostbusters, G.I. Joe. Again, we're just going through basically what is on here tonight. I'm not going to be playing most of the games. I'm going to show you how to do some of the games. But other than that... Hysteria Hospital, Hollywood Squares... Iron Man, Iron Man 2, GoldenEye, Jaws, Jenga, Jeopardy, my favorite game on here to play by the way, which I really don't play much anymore because of the fact, huh, excuse me, that I already know most of the answers to those questions. Uh, Kirby's, Kiwi, hey Kiwi, <laughs> Klonoa, Marvel, all the Legos that I have are Batman the Video Game, Star Wars 3, Lego Harry Potter 1 through 3, Lego Harry Potter's year 5 through 7, or maybe 1 through 4 and then 5 through 7. Uh, Indiana Jones, Lord of the Rings, Pirates of the Caribbean, Star Wars The Complete Saga, Batman 2, 
Uh, Lynx crossbow training. You got rush hour, acne arsenal. Some football. I don't have many sports games on here. I like playing sports games. But what's the point of having every single year on here, you know? The Mario parties, we play those like crazy. Mario Kart Wii. So every single game that you're looking at right now is playable right now. If I was to click into one of these and click play, it goes straight into the game. Which means for me streaming, now I, I also, I mean, Jackbox Party is a big thing I really want to stick with, but now I can actually do other streams. Another, I think I have like 13 games on Steam, which is cool and all, but it's even cooler to do some retro games. Okay, again, if you need to leave the game, you just press your home button on your controller here and go back to the Wii menu and enter back in. Okay, going back in. We'll get through the rest of these Wii games and then we'll go into the GameCube games. Whole different like uh, interface for it, so. It's crazy, I'm drinking a monster and I'm yawning. <laughs> Okay, more Metroid. Who wants to be a millionaire? Mini Golf Minute to win at Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 3, Medal of Honor, Vanguard, some Monopoly, Monster Jam, Monster Lab. Again, I think it was like 486. Let's see. How many games? Oh shoot, I didn't mean to do that. I've done this before, so give me a second. There we go. Let's see how many games I actually have here. Reload cache, I think is what you have to do. And normally it shows me how many games I have on it. Maybe. Come on, baby. 477 games right now. And the only reason why I have only 477 is because I've deleted a few off of here. But if you are interested in buying one of these, you get a default set of games. I think it's like 481 or 486 games altogether. So you got the Museum Mega Mix, the Remix version, Nat Geo, NBA, we already looked at a few of these just a second ago. Super Mario Brothers Wii and Super Mario Brothers Wii uh, Newer, or Newer Super Mario Brothers Wii, Need for Speeds. Oh, Pokemon uh, Battle Revolution, Poke Park, which is actually a really fun game, and Poke Park 2. I haven't gotten into really Poke Park 2 yet. <laughs> Again, those watching on YouTube, this is a live stream off of uh, twitch.tv backslash 360 exploration is the URL. Um, you guys are seeing the recorded version of this. Rabbids, Rango, Ratatouille, Rayman, 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 Red Steel, Real Fishing, Resident Evil 4, Resident Evil, The Dark Side Chronicles, Resident Evil, The Umbrella Chronicles. Seen it.
So what does this mean, though? This means that basically any time of the day, I can pick any of these games out and just stream with you guys. And just play these games. But I can't, I mean, no. It's, now, that's the only downfall. These are not going to be multiplayer with you guys. These are going to be multiplayer with people at my house. Which I love playing with you guys. That's why I got all the Jackbox Party games. Super Smash Brothers Brawl. It was an alright game. Uh, Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Sims 3, Thor, Transformers, Tron, Truth or Lies, I have yet to play, you gotta have the microphone for it, but I really do want to try it out, TV show King Party, Ultimate Board Game, Vegas Party, I like Vegas Party. There's Wally. -E. We party. Uh, we party, and I think we sports is gonna be up here. The number one selling game of all time for Nintendo was Wii Sports. Reason why? Because it came with every single Wii that they sold. Oh, we already went through them all. All right, so that was 477 games we just flipped through. Or we could do it this way. <laughs> That's what I do all the time. I'd be like, okay, I'm near the C's. So I'm going to get over to, you know, G. E's, F's, G, right there. Oh, okay, Ghostbusters. <laughs> so, all right, next thing. Now, let's do GameCube. This might be a little interesting because I might have to play with uh, OBS. Let's see. First off, you gotta power down the Wii. It's gotta be fully all fully red. You gotta unplug the terabyte hard drive and plug in this little SD card in the same slot. The furthest one uh, in the back, if you have it standing up, it's gonna be, if you're looking at the back side, it's all the way to the right. Or if you have it flipped up horizontal, it's going to be the one down on the very bottom. All right, let's kick back on. Let's see if it comes back on. Please, baby, don't mess with me. Woohoo! All right, so for this portion, you got to have your Wii controller, of course. And you've got to have your uh, GameCube controller hooked up. Excuse me. Okay. I've got wires going everywhere now. So next, you click on the GameCube or Nintendo. This will take you to all the GameCube games. Now again, I have about 106 games all together. Um, USB. Duh. Oh, and this is where you have to use the, the GameCube controller on this portion. There's going to be apps that we go through on here that they have to have the GameCube controller. All right, so boot GC drive, we don't, we don't have anything in the disk or disk drive. There's Animaniacs, Baldur's Gates, Batmans. Battalions. Hopefully you guys can see this. If you have full screen up right now, you should be able to see it pretty well. Uh, Blood Rain, Blood Omen, Blowout, Bomberman, the Call of Duties, Crash Nitro, Crash Team, Darkened Sky, Defender, Die Hard, Disney, Disney Party, Dr. Mewtwo, Muto, Dragon Lair, Hitman, Silent Assassin, Hunter the Reckoning, 
Killer, Luigi's Mansion, Mario Parties, Mario Kart, Metal of Honor. Alright, so let's go into one of the games now. Let's say... Mm, Let's go into Scooby-Doo Night of a Hundred Frights. Never played it, so. All right, so I just press the A button and it goes right into the game here. And, oh, I do not have, I've, I've gotta get a new one. But if you have the GameCube uh, save little card, you can save all these games as well. Right now it's just showing that, showing that I don't have that inserted. And the reason why is my son has it right now for his modded Wii. So I have to get another one personally for me. What is my audio up to? Oh, so okay. Can you get into your game? All right. So to. You smell that salty sea air, Scoob? You know what that means, buddy. Yeah. Seafood! Fried clam! Alright, so to get out of your GameCube games, you cannot just quit the game. It doesn't work that way. You have to power down the Wii for each individual GameCube game. Okay? So, uh, let's go back into it now. And I'll bring back up the Wii, and then you go back into your GameCube from there. Kind of awkward, but it I promise you, once you start playing this stuff, it's all worth it. And you get so used to doing it, of, you know, how the process works with that out. And you don't really have any issues, so. Alright. So we were over at Scooby-Doo. We got the Resident Evils there, Rayman. Uh, Sonic, Shadow of the Hedgehog, Soul Calibers, Star Wars, Super Mario Sunshine, Legend of Zeldas, uh, that was one of the biggest ones I wanted. This, alright, so that's the Wind Waker. The Legend of Zelda Collector's Edition has like every single Zelda game, we'll go into it real quick has every single Zelda game from the, all the retro games. So you'll see in just a second once it pops up. Okay, so there's the Wind Waker. There's the original Nintendo Legend of Zelda. The Adventures of Link, Zelda 2. Ocarina of Time. Majora's Mask. A Retrospective. That's a, a movie. So yeah. All right. Again, to get out of this, you gotta clip power down your Wii, and then just power it back on, and then go back into your GameCube games. So. I want to make sure <laughs> I'm talking all this stuff. I'm pretty sure I'm still recording as well. I need these recordings. These are going to be. This is going to be a long recording review. This is going to take me a few just to get it to process and edit. Anyways, let's go under GameCube again. And look at the final part of the games. And then we'll go through the rest of the uh, programs. So the Four Swords games, which you would see, I think, are on the 
if I'm not mistaken, the Nintendo DS or the Nintendo Adva uh, Game, Game Boy Advance. Um, Simpsons, Hit Run, Road Rage, Time Splitter, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, Malay, Top Gun, oh, and Zulker, Z Zelda Ocarina Multipack. That's another big one uh, for me as well. And I think that this one has a very, very rare version that they put out. Support 6 hertz mode only. Whatever. It's going to look black and white for right now because I'm not playing it under the right program. But that's fine. Mm, no. So, Ocarina of Time. And it's reading the game disc, which is actually reading a USB drive. So, alright, if I was under the right program, uh, again, I'm playing on OBS right now, so it's, oh, let me do this. Alright, so, that's your GameCube real quick. Again, let's see, let me pull this into my thing and see how many files I have. I have... Oh, I guess I don't need to do it that way. Let's do this. Properties. I have 108 folders, so I have 108 games on here plus some that are built into that for the GameCube. All right, plugging the Wii portion back in. That's what I how I normally keep it. I'm still going to keep this plugged in because there's going to come a few apps in here that you're going to actually need the controller. Oh, I guess I can unplug that now. Okay. Next. We are going to... I guess we'll go to Atari 7800. Click start. Now, if a controller does not... If this does not work on it and you have to use the GameCube controller your lights down here will stop flashing you cannot use it whatsoever so that's when you have to use your uh, controller so we're gonna go to load cartridge and right from here we can pick any of these games and I'm going to scroll through very very fast now when you see stuff like this um, like beef drop you're gonna see different files for it, file folders and these are different mods or different revisions to the game that they put out so people also have modded or done something cool with games it'll be in there as well so alright so let's take this one that's PAL version. We're going to just do the Atari version here. So. Alright, so when you're ready to leave a game, I'm here. So when you're ready to leave a game, 
normally you just press the Z button. I had to remember which game it was. So then you can go to it and you can go to a different game on that app. If you get tired, and we're gonna go through this, whenever you're done all together, you can press that and it'll take you back to the Wii format. And then from there, you can go to your different apps. So let's go back in, into 7800. Nope, not Super Nintendo yet. Come on, baby. It's because I'm so close to the Wii sensor. Okay, so. Let's go back through these games. Little cartridge. This has 183 cartridges on it, 183 games. On the 78. 7800 wasn't a very, very popular uh, system at all. There's Clax, Kung Fu Master. That's why I'm just trying to screw it. Scroll through it. Miss Pac-Man. After the major fall with the Atari 2600 and them putting out E.T. And it, for kids that grew up, like, were born in the 90s, you wouldn't even know anything what I'm talking about. Um, I was born in the 80s and I still didn't know anything I'm talking about right now. Some people have actually told me about it. But before Nintendo came out, there was a major video game crash in the uh, in history where basically one game came out and it screwed up the entire game series nobody wanted it they buried just about every single game of it and that was E.T. Um, then Nintendo came out and people were so wearisome about the Nintendo that it was going to be just like everybody else Yet it turned, it revolutionized exactly what it revolu revolutionized exactly what gaming is today. Um, the Atari almost killed the gaming industry. The, you guys would have almost never grown up playing video games without Nintendo actually bringing things back around. All right, same thing. Uh, controller does not work on the twenty six hundred you have to use the GameCube controller. So we're going to go under the emulator. Hmm. Oh, maybe it does. There we go. Alright, so this one is built in alphabetically. So, you go on to A. This is also going to have your numbers as well. You can see all the games here. Just in the A's alone, there's 166 games. Okay. We'll go back. Go back. I don't think I was supposed to press that to go back. No, I wasn't supposed to press something to go back. You don't have to do it that way. Anyways, you go back into it. Okay. Start the emulator. Takes it a couple of seconds. Because the Wii did, or, excuse me. The Atari 2600 had a lot of games, so this is another 170 games. And it's all your B's. And again, just like what we did before, all you do is just click on the game, or press the A button on the game, and you're able to go play it. So. Okay. Trying to see. There we go. So we are going to we are going to 
click quit. I think. Nope. You go to you click go up. It's uh, like a root file. My bad. So there's thing. <laughs> I have played, I haven't played this in so long that, and it's gathered dust like crazy. Um, but I'm still having to remember how to do things certain, exactly with this program. So, all right, let's go to C's. 173 games here. Okay. Alright, and let's say you want to go to the D's. You highlight you by pressing the left or right button. Click go up, and I'll take you there. See? There we go. Your D's, 177 games, Daredevil. video up on this now I already see let's see we just want chat only okay dragster dukes of hazard hmm never played that one all right I'm gonna go up again so it kind of highlights uh, well you I'm pointing at stuff and it kind of highlights like it's up at the top and then it goes into the middle with the letters and it goes around and that's just by doing this right here okay let's see E's and F's the game that almost killed it all right there in this section. Fun with numbers. Mm. I remember back in the day there used to be a game called Number Munchers on the computer. Oh, we're going to go back up. Alright, let's go to GF. Or I mean GH. <laughs> Holy crap. Alright, G.I. Joe, Garfield, Gas Hog, Gauntlet, J, K, and L. 210 games here. Eh. Mm, it's Twitch. I better not look. <laughs> I kind of wonder what that is, though. Invaders. Oh, 007. Back in the day, did you know that? 007 on there. The Atari. Breaker. Okay. Go back to the M's and the N's. Two hundred and twenty four games here, mash. Those and uh, that's watching this on YouTube, seeing 
exactly what I have, definitely tell me in the comments section if you want to see games like this being played again. Just to see what these games were like back in the day. Because I would so do it for you guys. And uh, I will have my email address down in the comment section on the YouTube channel. Um, if you guys are interested in purchasing one of these Wii's, um, and I'll go over all that stuff at the end, you can definitely email me and uh, we'll be able to build you one of these, excuse me, and uh, definitely get to start playing it for yourself as well. Miss Pac-Man. Twitch right now, unfortunately, is lame because there's like hardly anybody there. But it don't matter because they went through all the stuff that I just went through. I, we fought for almost an hour just to get this thing packed up on here. Didn't I just? Oh, these are the Pac Man. So O's and P's. Pac-Mans, Pepsi Invaders, I heard something about that. You hear the outside, it's Friday night around here, so it's craziness. Pitfalls, Planet Patrol, ah, one of my favorites, pole position. Let's try it, why not? That's what this is all about too. So I want to play the original version that, you know, you see there's like a PAL and like an A1 and the band and stuff like that. I just go for the regular part of the game. So pole position, 1983 Atari dot Ben. Ben files are some of your best files to play on. You're not gonna have issues. Oops. I forget how to, uh... <laughs> oh, <laughs> I forgot how to, uh, change the, to the high and the low. It's on the controllers. Alright, pull position. Popeye, Porkies. I'm surprised that nobody's hopping into our Discord chat as well. So quiet around here. Let's go general. So quiet. Well, also one of my buddies is also streaming so and she's got a lot of people watching tonight that normally watch me so all right so Q's and R's there's 211 of these cuberts a lot of QB I gotta definitely look at the quad run the hell is QB I have to ask my business partner on that one. Now, my business partner, he was born in this 1970. First gaming system came out in 1972, and he knows all this shit here. I mean, God, when the this stuff came out, he was already like eight years old and already into all this shit. So. Let's see. SA through SASP, 272 games here. Again, we're just looking at Atari games so far. Skydiver. Hmm. Slot machine. Slot through Smurfs. 
rescuing Gargamel's castle. I wonder what that looks like. <laughs> Again, I have maybe played 1% of all these games on here. There's so many games to play. Spice Girls Roll Demo? I didn't even know the Spice Girls were around when the Atari was still going. Hmm. SpongeBob SquarePants. So I know what this is. Some people have actually made games for the Atari. So. Okay, yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> Some people make their own games too. Spy Hunter and Spy vs. Spy. Alright, next. And then we have the SQ through SZ. <laughs> Phew, oh my goodness. Alright, Squeeze Box, Stampede, Starfire, Star Wars, Star Trek. Star Voyager. Summer Games. Superman. Surf's Ups. Alright. Next, we go over to the T U V W X Y Z. 234 games here. What was that? Tron. I like playing Tron. I like the Tron version that I play on computer sometimes. There's still people that play Tron to this day. Their server's still out there playing. Old Tron game. All right, Yahtzee, Yars Revenge. Oh, Zelda. I wonder what that is. Zelda Adventure Hack. Let's find out. Oh shoot. Oh, okay. Zoo. All right. So that is our Atari games. Now, let's move on. Next up is ColecoVision. ColecoVision, I think, came out in 1978 or 1977. And the way it was, was an actual TV screen that they sent you that had two built-in controllers, or that you bought. It had two built-in controllers, I think, and you could play the games right on the TV screen there. Again, this one does not work with this. It's mainly this kind of app that it doesn't work, and you have to use the controller, which is good, because this right here, you want this joystick to play on. Uh, 303 games in here. Same thing, if you find a game that you want to play, then you just press the A button and go right into it. So let's say Burger Time. Select one or two players. We are going to select one. <laughs> burger time <laughs> some of these games are freaking hilarious man some of these games are so freaking hard compared to the games that we had we have now like they don't give you any kind of uh 
tutorials and stuff. Like you play Call of Duty, they're like, let's go into training. You go into here and they're like, have at it. <laughs> Chuck Norris. Here's Dig Dug, Dr. Seuss. Frogger. Again, I'm going through these fairly fast because I am making a video for YouTube. I don't want this thing to be two hours long, which right now it seems like it's going to be two hours long. <laughs> Mousetrap, Mr. Dude. I wonder what Mousetrap looks like. Oh, I jumped. So on here, you can page up, page down as well. So like right now, I am just going up and down. If I go left or right, it'll page through these as well. So let's look at Mousetrap real quick. I'm just confused. Not confused, I wanna know what it is. Okay. Click one. One. So this is exactly what it looked like for the controller. Two. Looks like Pac-Man. <laughs> All right, so. Well, Pac-Man, Popeye, Pac-Man, Cubert, Robin Hood, I really want to get into the other games. I'm a big Nintendo fan. I'm Super Nintendo and stuff like that, man. I was all for it. Ataris, yeah, I had them, but when the Nintendos came out, man. That Atari just sat in a closet, gathered dust, and pretty much just destroyed itself over time. Video Hustler War Room. That one right there, I think, is supposed to be one of the biggest games that came out for it. So, Zaxxon. Alright. To get out of it, we just press the button right there. And it pops right out. Now we're back to our Wii menu. And we are going into Nintendo. Now the way that this works, you'll see that this still lights up when we get to the screen. So, this is our controller. And you use it horizontally as so. Adam's Family, Pants Dungeon and Dragon. Let me look real quick while we're doing this. Because I don't know if I can look this one up. Let's see. Let me click on uh, settings real quick. No. Click go back. Okay. So no, I can't look right there. I will, let me look up my stats real quick. There you go. Thank you. Alright, Nintendo games. Regular Nintendo games. There is... Come on, baby. Where are you? Nintendo Entertainment System. There is 1,800 games here. <laughs> so... Let's go through some of these games while we're at it. All right. 
Aladdin's. I am just scrolling right through. You guys can pause the YouTube video and see exactly like a game. Be like, ooh, I know that game. Or, ooh, I remember that game. Beauty and the Beast. So, let's go into a certain game for a minute. Let's go to... Let's go down a little bit. We will go into a game. I just want to see where we can get... There we go. Days of Thunder. <laughs> so, let's choose one of them. Normally I go with the ones with the E. And we're in our game. So, again, the old Nintendo used to just have a little pad and an A and a B button. That's exactly how this works as well. So, Oh, dear Lord. I didn't know it was going to be racing like that. <laughs> and then when you're done with the game, all you got to do is press the home button and then just go back to main menu or load. Come on. You guys are seeing it jump because I'm too close to it. Let's go to load. Nope. Okay. So it's uh, main menu. With this game. Yes. Okay. Now we're back here. Again, this does have a uh, page down button as well. There's duck hunt on here. I bet you it doesn't work. Maybe. Shit, I've never played. Let's try it. Let's just hope that it'll work. Let's see, there's the W's. Duh. <laughs> Osama bin Laden, see? Some people will actually put their own little twist in here as well. Uh, let's try this one. I'm gonna try to aim it. It probably won't work. So some of these games, it's not gonna be possible. No, see, not possible. Duck hunt, you have to have the gun. And the Wii doesn't turn into that. So the duck hunt will not work. All right, let's go back. Digger, Dragon Balls, they're duck hunt. Okay, Earthworm. Thought I saw Family Guy. <laughs> that wasn't Family Feud. All the Final Fantasies. Oh, it's Mikey, what are you doing there, buddy? <laughs> One, two, three, four. Or one, two, three, five, and six. Again, this is, I'm going to go through these really fast. Um, because this is 1800 games to go through right now so oh. 
Where'd it go? Right there. Paperboy used to be one of my favorite games to play on the Nintendo. Other than Super Mario Brothers and stuff like that. Sonic the Hedgehog. That's a pirated edition. <laughs> I didn't come out for the regular Nintendo. Super Mario Brothers. Oh, there we go. Super Mario Brothers 2 and 3. Super Mario World. That's a pirated edition. It didn't come out for Nintendo. Regular Nintendo, I mean. Tiny Toon Adventures. Okay, so there's those. All right, next up, let's see what we have here. You have your Super Nintendo. Same concept. These basically hold it uh, horizontal. So. All right. Three ninjas. Batman Forever, Batman Returns. Now we used to do the original Xbox and put all these on there and just play like I think like 180 X regular Xbox games we were able to put in. We had to mod, we had to take out the hard drive, put in a new hard drive and you had to put each individual game on one by one. Now this is a whole different setup like with the Wii games. We're able just to move, click files and stuff like that, and it, I mean, it still takes time, but you don't have to individually, personally put in one by one by one. So, let me get past these BS ones. There we go. All right, so let's take like this game for example, Donkey Kong Country. Click into it, and it's just like what you played out on the Super Nintendo. Nineteen ninety four. <laughs> Remember, this was used to be like, man, this was the shit back then. Oh, okay. Anyways, same thing. Uh, just click on main menu and it'll take you right back to your uh, your. Uh, menu of games in the Super Nintendo version here. Alright, scrolling through. Let's go through these really quick. Super Nintendo, I had... The game I played the most, believe it or not, was not Mario. I played Mario, I beat Mario, and Mario went to the... like, dust. But the game I played over and over and over, man, you could not keep me off of it. We're getting down to it. I thought it was the best game of all time for those games. All the Mega Mans, look at that. Oh, 
It was Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat was fun. But this right here, NBA Jam, that was my game. That, that was the game I would play time after time. Catching the ball on fire, slamming it in, glass breaking everywhere. That was the coolest thing growing up as a kid, I thought. <laughs> now you look at it and you're like, eh. It's a cool vintage game, retro game. Again, going through these fairly quickly. Um, Super Nintendos. We have 2,500 games on here. Or around 2,500. So. And again, in those games, it's also talking about... Hey, Pat Gerald. <laughs> Um, on my shirt, that is Hydroactive Music Records. That's my other little uh, gig that I do as well. Um, those on YouTube that are uh, seeing the recorded version, I got, uh, again, I'm on Twitch right now as well. So people are chatting as well. Um, but, uh, there's a Roadrunner. Oh, but what I was saying is 2,500 games, but in these games also, there is different hacks or different mods in these games. Painting of in the background, it's an elephant. Let's see. There's an elephant back there. Sim City, Sim Earth, The Simpsons. Spider Man. What was that? Spellcraft. I might want to try that one day. <laughs> I say that all the time. And there's games to this day that I have yet to play. Alright, now getting into the Super games. Most of your games for the Super Nintendo had Super something. Super Battle Tanks, Super Bomberman. So, there's a lot. Super Game Boy. Okay, so you had the All-Stars, you had the Collection, Super Mario Kart. <laughs> Uh, there's hacks in those as well to make the stuff go faster. Thank you, Pat Gerald, for the follow. I really appreciate it. Super Art High. Super Star Wars. Let's see, where's my game? Did I already pass it? Hold on, I'm going to jump back up real quick. I know I'm jumping really fast, but... There it is, Star Fox. I used to play that game like crazy too on the Super Nintendo. Okay, so let's just take Super Mario World because I know everybody's like, dudes, you gotta put Mario in here. Okay, Super Mario World. We'll go right into it. We just click the number two button on the Wii and it goes straight into the game. And now we're ready to play Super Mario World. Just like that. So, as you can tell, we've already played this. It saves the files, so you're not losing your files whenever you go through. So, all right. Let's go back to the menu and finish this up on the Super Nintendo portion and we'll go to our next side. Okay. Super Pinball. Alright, I'm going to scroll through fairly fast at this last part so you can get into our next section. Alright. 
again this is the same thing where oh sorry <laughs> where'd my camera go um, like basically you can scroll one by one or you can page up and down all right on to the next one so we have seen the Wii the GameCube the Atari 7800 games, the tw Atari 2600 games, ColecoVision, regular Nintendo, Super Nintendo. And the next one we are going to do is the Sega Genesis. Now, Sega Genesis, there's a little trick to this and I wish my business partner was here to show you guys um, because he knows how to do it super fast. But I'm gonna go through as much as I can on here. So we're gonna click load game and you have your uh, Mega Drive which is your super or that's your Sega Genesis basically you have your Sega CD your Sega Master System Sega Game Gear and SG-1000 Sega Mega CD that one it takes a second because you have to load something different in the settings if you don't ever go into that then you have all these games right here and you don't ever have to worry about the settings so we're gonna go into the Mega Drive you click on Gen Plus and GG ROMs. Oh no, ROMs. Part one, A through M. Okay, now these are all our uh, Sega Genesis games. And a lot of the Sega Genesis is the same as the Super Nintendo because Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo were all uh, all out at the same time. So you'll see some repeats and gains. Um, oh, let me do that. I'm scrolling through super fast again. We will play these games in the near future as well. All of these games are playable. Oh, I guess it's going to be under T, right? I was, oh, there it is. We're going to go right here, for example, and play The Lion King. Just like you're playing on the Atari. Anyways, to go back to the Sega Genesis games, you just click load game and Mega Drive and it takes you straight back there. Alright, so we're going to go through again really fast here. I just want to show you kind of an idea. Um, when it comes to the Sega Genesis games, let's see what our list says. We have 1,750 games on the Sega Genesis here. Okay, uh, we're going to go to the previous directory and we're going to go to N through Z. If you see, I got a load file previous directly. Some of the instructions will be on here. Uh, some of them are just learning or just asking us if you ever have an issue, if you decide to order one of these. So, now, what it was all about when I was growing up with the Sega Genesis and everything. Mortal Kombat was huge, um, but Sega Genesis was all about Sonic. Sonic was the big daddy of them all. Sonic Knuckles, Sonic Compilation, Sonic the Hedgehog. 
So all of these are on here. Even the ones made just in Japan are on here. So if you want to learn how to do it in Japanese, you can. But that's basically... I think Sonic is what made Sega. All together. Before Nintendo had Sonic, Sega had Sonic. Wait. Holy crap, where in the world is Carmen where in time is Carmen San Diego? I will come back to those and play those too. Not tonight, but I will play those eventually. <laughs> oh man. Alright, so there's your Sega Genesis. Now I'm not going to go into Mega CD just yet, but we will go into it soon enough. We're going to look at the Master System first. Alright, let's just do like this right here. Cyborg Hunter. You go into it. This Max Master System was out before the Genesis. This was more like Atari version of or maybe even regular Nintendo time. how it works. <laughs> okay, going back into the master system. The master system, let's see how many games we have for it. Master system, we have about 900 games altogether. Next, we will go to the Sega Game Gear. Game Gear has... Game Gear has about 700 games. and the mods too so uh, Jungle Book, Jurassic Park I have never played the Jungle Book. Now this is the Game Gear. So the Game Gear was a handheld game system just like the Nintendo or the Game Boy was. Oh. Okay. So it's gonna look a little different with the game set up. All right, keep going through. Combats, NBA Jam, my jam. Yeah. 
next. We got the SG-1000. Go ahead and look for it real quick. So it'll do this basically where you gotta go through and find the file folder. Come on now. Gen Plus SG-1000. Okay. And again, that only happens on a couple of these on the Sega side. Nothing else does that. So, like, let's go to Star Force. That's Japan. I'm not going to be able to read this crap, but whatever. Oh, I can. Look, this English. It's not Japan. Um... Alright, so that SG 1000. Uh, let's finish up on the games on there and then we will go. Oh, I didn't want to go into that yet. Mega CD, I've got to do something that's really weird, but supposedly it works. Okay, so Girls Garden. Okay, there's the SG-1000. Not many games on there. Now, Mega CD. You have to go in to it. You have to click Gen Plus. And before you go into Sega CD, you gotta go to BIOS and click Sega CD Model 2 BIOS. It reloads. Then you press, you back out of it. It's so stupid how this works, but this is just the way that this program works with this. You go back to load game. Then you go into Mega CD, back out of this, and then go into Sega CD games. If you do not do that, you will not be able to play any of these games here. For example, let's go to Batman Returns. That's the only one. If you don't do that, if you don't go into BIOS and change it to that and then back out of it, you will not be able to play these games. So now I can play it. So stupid. But it is fun. Once you know how to, if you can learn how to go to BIOS, back out of it, go to it. That's the only thing on this entire Sega portion that is a little bit of a pain of an ass, but if you can do it, it's worth it. Because then you can play all these games that were on the Sega CD. Which weren't that many. Okay. So, we're going to go back to load game. And you only have to do it once. Alright. Batman Returns, we're going to back out of. And keep going down. Star Wars, Star Wars chess. Hmm. And that's it. So there's not many games on there. If you're not going to play any of these games, it don't really matter. You just can go to any of these other games. Then when you want to go back to Mega Drive for this, all you got to do is just click on it, click on the game you want to play, and you're good to go. And it doesn't matter about the BIOS thing. So this. <laughs> I don't even know what I clicked on. I just clicked on the game. All right. So, that is your Sega, all your Sega stuff there. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I want to get out of it. Home and home, right? Nope, exit. There we go. Exit the system menu. All right. Next up is uh, your Game Boy regular and your Game Boy Color games. So we're going to go down here. And now we are in our uh Okay. So again, the controller turned off. 
which means I have to switch over to the GameCube controller game uh, or GameCube controller. Now, if it has a GBC file, that means Game Boy Color. If it has a GB file, that means regular Game Boy. So, and in these, we have, um, yeah, I don't, yeah, I have to look at it. In these, we have Game Boy Color and Game Boy Regular. We have about 3,000 games altogether. So I'm going to scroll through these really quick. I'll jump into one or two, show you exactly how to go through it. Seven thousand eight hundred and fifty six items found turn out to be really just three thousand games. So <laughs> don't look at the seventy eight fifty six, just know it's about three thousand games altogether. Because we consider all the doubles and stuff like that, so Let's do that. Oh, well, why not? Bugs Bunny and Lola Bunny. Never played it ever. Never even in the back of back in the day. This was made. This came out in 1998. Okay. God, the music we had for games back in the day. Uh, English, yeah. Okay, so whenever you're done with the game, again, all you gotta do is press the purple button, or the top button right here, and it'll bring you back to this screen. Click load game, and you can go back to your game, so look out. So, again, I'm going through these uh, super, super fast. Forgive me. If you want me to take time, it's not gonna happen today, but I can definitely uh, do more of a slow, one on one later on. Maybe we'll break these down in little chapters. Dexter's Laboratory. Huh. Ain't no Dexter. Oh, yeah, never mind. Now, when it comes to the regular Game Boy, I'd say the game that everybody loved to play was Tetris. And if you didn't have Tetris, you didn't have, you shouldn't have had a Game Boy. And then Pokemon came along, which we're getting down to. Again, so many games, I'm just flying through these. GBS player is. It's a program, I guess. Maybe it was a little cheat thing that they used to have. Grand Theft Auto, what the hell? Okay, I've got to. I have never played the original Grand Theft Auto. English, of course. 1999. Jeez. Let's see what this is all about. The original. This will be one that, why not? 
gangsta bang. Grand Theft Auto, holy crap. Grand Theft Auto 2 2? Uh, I wonder if it's just like the first one. Yeah. 2000. I think the first, the first game I played of Grand Theft Auto was Grand Theft Auto 3. same kind of concept. That's crazy. <laughs> Sucks so bad already. Alright, so <laughs> load game. Alright. Gremlins. Harry Potter. Was Harry Potter out then? Yeah it was. Holy crap. Dude, Harry Potter was I mean, it was a book a long time before then, but Harry Potter became a movie when I was in high school. And the Game Boy Color, of course, was out when I was in high school, so. Home Alone 2. Jeopardy. I'm trying to get to... Let's do, again, I'm flying through these. There's, I, I hope that you guys are interested in ordering one of these um, because I will get my business partner to make them for you in a heartbeat and have them straight to you, I think. It takes us, um, well, we gotta order the parts first. So once the parts get in, it takes us about a day and a half to put, assemble it and put all the games on, and then we ship ship it out. Um, from shipping, and then it all depends on uh, it would be priority mail, so two to three days shipping normally. Um, and then once it's to you, you can hook it up and play as you go. You don't have there won't be much to assemble at all except throwing the hard drive on. Um, Again, I will go over that stuff at the very end here. If you are truly interested in getting one of these, um, it's not going to cost you an arm and a leg or anything like that. I mean, it does have a price on it. It's not like it's free or anything. A lot of the stuff that my business partner uh, used to get this, he had to pay for a subscription to be able to get the games and everything. So. And now he's able to do, he's licensed to do uh, modded Wii's like this. So, I do more of the, for him, I've always done stuff like this. I'm marketed for him, so. He's the brains behind it all. And I like playing the games. That's the other thing. He likes playing the games too, but I like playing them more. He's turned into more playing virtu with virtual reality and stuff. Oh, here we go. Let's do Pokemon, the blue version, um, regular Game Boy. It means black and white kind of thing for kids that don't know the difference. This is what we had to play on. Little handheld game like this. Well, more like this. And no, the color's not messed up. This is exactly what it looked like. <laughs> so, <laughs> and on here, all right, this is the crazy. We have Pokemon Blue version. Um, I got a lot of blue versions. 
That's the Mexican version. <laughs> it's the blue edition in Spanish. Um, we have the gold version. We have the red version. Silver version. The Johto Journeys. That's Game Boy. That's Game Boy? I thought it was Game Boy Color. The yellow version. That's the one that everybody loved was yellow. Pokemon cards. Pokemon Red. Pokemon Pinball. Pokey 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 Pokemon. That's what blew up the freaking at the very end of the Game Boy going into the Game Boy Color. So Prince of Persia. Alright, I'm going through it again really fast. Qbert. South Park. South Park. Yeah, South Park. <laughs> I was like, did I just see it? S is Star Trek, Star Wars, Episode One, Street Fighter. Street Fighter was also under Super Nintendo as well. Super Mario Four. Never played it. And not gonna play it right now. But I passed Tetris? Yes, I did. Let's do the original Tetris. 1987. I was three. Three years old. going through these games. I'll never get through this. I'll be doing this. This will be a five hour stream. We're already past two hours. So <laughs> it's going to be it's going to be interesting. So alright. So all of these games here turn out to be after you figure out all the mods and stuff is about 3,000 games all together. Triple X? Is that what I saw? Triple X five. Oh, the X. What? I have to look at that later. Oh, the Zeldas, Nightmare Illusion. A lot of Zeldas here. Zork. All right. So there's your Game Boy Color and your Game Boy. Now. Grab our Wii controller again, and we will go into Game Boy Advanced. Game Boy Advance, we have roughly, let's see. Excuse me. 950 games altogether. And I think in there it, it considers the mods as well. Oh, shoot. I jumped right into it. Okay. Oh. Pressing the wrong one. <laughs> Alright, so that is on this one here. 
Um, I was trying to use the GameCube controller. Okay. So we're back to the main menu. Power Rangers. Rayman. Santa Claus. Shrek. Okay, so that's your Game Boy Advanced. Again, I didn't go through that really that much, but it's the same thing as Game Boy Color, Game Boy. Uh, so, all right, now, next up is the Nintendo 64. The only thing I'm gonna tell you really quick about it is not all the games for Nintendo 64 are on here by any means. And the reason why is Nintendo 64 was a 64-bit processor. And then they also came up with that little four-bit thing, so it became like a Nintendo 68. Um, the Nintendo Wii is a 32-bit processor. So the games do not run right, or most of the games do not run right on the Nintendo 64 portion. But, again, controller doesn't work on here, so you need the GameCube controller. Um, but we do have a list of games that do run all right or good on here they do run good or they run all right so come on baby there we go so it's not that many games for the nintendo 64 on here and that's the reason why it's because the wii was a 30 the wii is a 32-bit version and the Nintendo 64 is a 64-bit. We have only 50 games on here for it. Now, a lot of the games, like the Mario's and stuff like that, you can play on other uh, other uh, consoles on here, like the Wii's, like the All Stars and stuff like that, or like the Legend of Zelda's. They play on the GameCube games as well, so that we have put on here. The Star Fox 64, and I'll show you. Let's see. Let's go Super Mario 64. All right. So we go into the game. Okay. That didn't work right. Load from the SD card. Sorry. Next, 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 next. Come on, baby. Work for me. Memory to loaded. Okay. Found and loaded. Save from SD card. Okay. So once you load the game, then you click play game. And then you can play your game. Oh my god. It was the Super Mario game of all time. Whee! And see, it runs. This one runs pretty good. So. Mario. Hey Mario, please come to the castle. I'm going to take care of you. Yours truly, Princess Toadstool. Peach. Peach. It's me, Mario. <laughs> so, you can see that this one runs alright, but if I kicked it into like, I don't know, like Diddy Kong Racing. Diddy Kong Racing absolutely will not play on this. That's why it's not on here. I think Donkey Kong 64 was the same thing too. Those are two games that I really liked playing back in the day. Blah 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 blah. Woohoo! <laughs> Alright, so you can see. Alright, to get out of these games. Shoot, there was something interesting about this one. There we go. To get out of the games for the Nintendo 64, you have to press these two buttons. Come on, baby, focus in. You have to press those two at the same time, and that'll bring you back to your ROM list here. 
All right, let's go back to load ROMs and go back through here. I want to see, I think, all right, Diddy Kong Racing is on here. Donkey Kong 64 is also on here. Let's go into Diddy Kong Racing. Let me show you, unless it starts behaving, I mean, some some of these games will start behaving out of the blue. And it's because, again, oh crap. Um, the Nintendo 64 was a 64-bit version. The Nintendo Wii is a 32-bit version. And it just does not process the best. I can't read this shit right now. <laughs> sure, why not? I can't read it. It seems to be doing all right on this portion. Okay, so, but yeah, those are your Nintendo 64 games that we went through now. Let's go ahead and back out of this and let's go into the next section. I know, we have covered two hours worth of stuff so far. It's crazy out here. All right, so next is the links. That's kind of what it looked like back in the day. If I'm not mistaken, you cannot use the Wii controller. So you'll see it does not light up at the bottom. That's when you'll need your GameCube controller. Load the cartridge. 296 games found altogether. fly through these not many games to play on this but it runs the same way you find a game that you want to play just click on it maybe I've never played this one so I've never played that game load cartridge just try a different one Mario plus demo Holy crap. <laughs> what the freaking A. All right. <laughs> Paper boy. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to the <laughs> But yeah. Alright, so Paper Boy. Alright. So that's those. We'll back out of it into the main menu again. These last few I'm just going by super super fast. Okay, next. Before we do MSX, you know what? I'll go into MAME in just a second. Let's do MSX first. Again, it was an old setup way back in the day. Back before I was even born. Um, controller doesn't work. I need the GameCube controller. They got the MSX one, two, two plus, and the MSX machines. We're just going to start with one. So these are all your games for it. Maybe it was back in my day. I don't remember. So you just find a game you want to play. Play these. Come on, baby. 
There we go. Nope, it didn't go. Alright, what is going on with these? Oh, it's on here. We're going to power this one down. Come on, baby. Game over. Good. All right, we're going to power this down. What was that, Pat Gerald? What did you forget to ask? All right. <laughs> While waiting on that, go back in here. Uh, yeah, you did ask me that. I uh, Tonight, not really. This is more, today is an unboxing of a, of basically, uh, this right here easier cap and it was basically a USB adapter that hooks up to a component So I can be able to stream my Wii games my modded Wii with over 22,000 games on it onto Twitch So today is more showing everybody my modded Wii that I have had for a while um, We're gonna go into the main now MAME is all your coin-op games. Um, but yeah, I definitely want to be able to play some of these games for everybody. Uh, just not tonight because we're also recording for YouTube. Um, doing an unboxing of the piece of equipment I have to stream with. But the unveiling of my modded Wii's and that I'm able to get people modded Wii's as well. What is going on, Mame? You should be showing up. All right, let's, there it goes. Okay, so here we go. These are all gonna be, this is probably our biggest section right here. If I'm not mistaken. Mame or the um, coin-op games, there is Wait for it. Come on, where are you? Shoot. Oh, we don't have it listed in here. We normally have it listed. Mm. I think there's close to 8,000 games in just this section alone. I used to have it wrote down, and for some reason it's not in my list. But, if I'm not mistaken, we have close to 8,000 games that are coin-op games. So, we're going to scroll through these again. Main does not work for this controller. You have to have your GameCube controller. So, whenever you do get a modded Wii, you've got to make sure you have that. It's part of the... you got to have your regular Wii controller, have a GameCube controller. Alright. And these, uh, I mean, this is what people really played back in the day, man. You used to go to arcade, throw some quarters in, and just have a blast on this stuff. Basically, you go into your game. <laughs> Please deposit coin. 
Input. General. Return to prior menu. Return to game. Okay. Oh, I'm pushing the wrong button. I'm trying to put a quarter in right now. It's a certain button. Once you learn it, you're okay. I might have already put it in. There we go. Woohoo! It was the uh, exit button. <laughs> Okay, press start. Uh. <laughs> Alright, to get out of it, you gotta press these two buttons right here. Same time. Nope. Come on, baby. There we go. You gotta press this button up here. And just go to uh, select new game. Damn. Anyways, let's go through these games. I'm gonna s fly through these because, like I said, I think there's close to. Maybe not in this one. Nope, it's not in this one. Most people care about anytime we sell these things. Most people care about the Super Nintendo, the regular Nintendo, some of the Nintendo 64, the GameCube, and our Wii games. That's what mostly everybody plays, and some Genesis games. So that is exactly what this is all set up for number one thing you never ever 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 update your Wii <laughs> whenever you do this so all right guys So the question is, do you want one of these bad boys? And if so, I'm the guy to talk to about it because I can get them made for you. Um, no money for me whatsoever. Uh, hardly any money for the guy that actually makes them. Um, all you're doing is just paying him like 20, 30 bucks for the services of putting the stuff on. But if you want one of these, he needs to be able to buy the Nintendo Wii, a one terabyte hard drive, a 32 gig or a 64 gig um, SD card, a 128 gig. Well, I think he's been doing the 64. He's been doing a 128 gig or something like that in the SD card, being able to put the GameCube games on it now. But before, the way it was was on a thumb drive. So. He may still have to do thumb drives if you want all those games, the 108 uh, GameCube games. So he's got to be able to get the SD card, the um, hard drive, the S uh, USB drive, the Wii, the Wii controller, the GameCube controller, and all together that normally comes out somewhere right about $200 for everything whenever we uh, purchase everything um, because we also have to pay the shipping and the taxes and stuff like that unless we go out and find it and then it's just even twice as much but if you're interested in one of these we can get you them made up with everything included 
and uh, it will include the Wii, the hard drive, the SD card, the USB. Um, we'll even be able to get you guys uh, the um, the little save card for the GameCube games. Um, it'll have a GameCube controller, it'll have the Wii with the nunchuck, all of that for 250 bucks plus shipping. So, if you're interested, I will go ahead and say my uh, my email address is 360exploration at gmail.com. You're more than welcome to email me if you're interested in them. Um, or it's also down in the comment section on YouTube. But yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Um, I, I am super, super excited that I was able to show and tell today. I knew it was going to take forever, man. It took almost like three hours to do all of this. Let's see. started at 7.15, so a little bit over three hours. And then we ran into a little bit of issues hooking up with OBS. Um, after we fi figured out all the issues, no problem whatsoever. So let me close that up. All right. So thank you guys again for joining on, on, on the stream, those that did join earlier. Uh, before we started going into issues with OBS. Um, thank you guys uh, that are watching here on YouTube. Um, and I hope that uh, we get to play a few of these games, definitely. Um, but I hope that you are so interested in purchasing one of these. I mean, we're talking 20-something thousand games. Retro games all the way up to Wii games. 480-something Wii games and 108 GameCube games. Uh... For 250 bucks plus shipping I mean when you get a, a, a Wii right now or an Xbox one or anything like that you're already spending three or four hundred bucks and you haven't even got the games yet we're talking about 20 something thousand legit games to play but if you're truly interested definitely look under the uh, comment section and uh, I will uh, email me and then uh, we will correspond and get you uh, one of yours built and I'll go over payment with you guys in the private emails as well. Alright, that's all I have for you. Thank you for again joining the stream. Thank you for joining YouTube. If you like this video uh, on YouTube, definitely click that like button down below and click that subscribe button right up there um, because the more subscribers, the better. Uh, more of this gets shared with people and more we get to enjoy each other's company and playing these games so all right you guys have a wonderful day